Come on, Dennis, get up here. Hello, Governor. How you doing, sir? Good to see you. Good to see you. I got the proclamation there. Uh, this is a superstar right here. <laughs> Go talk to him, Dennis. Talk to him. Talk about being put on the spot. But, uh, Governor, first of all, I want to thank you for all that you do for the veterans in the state of West Virginia. Uh, as you said, as far back as the campaign, you had made a commitment to the veterans of the state of West Virginia, and you have kept that commitment, Governor, and I can't say it enough, but I'm going to remind you again, we appreciate all that you do for our veterans. As uh, many of you know, uh, several things uh, the Governor has done this year uh, to keep uh, our veteran program strong and committed to the veterans uh, we have here uh, in the state of West Virginia. Namely, uh, he provided an additional appropriation in our budget this year to fix some things we had uh, to maintain with the nursing facility in uh, Clarksburg. And Governor, we really do appreciate that. We were at a loss at how we were going to address that. But once again, you stepped up to the plate. Uh, you also know that uh, last year, starting uh, July the 1st, uh, we turned the uh, veteran transportation program over to the DAV. Uh, uh, again, the governor gave us uh, 13 new vehicles last year. Uh, we've got another chunk uh, ordered this year that haven't been delivered yet. And then I heard him say once again in the state of the state, he's putting more money in there so we can get those old vans off the road and get these new ones uh, uh, here. So governor, we really appreciate all of that. And I just want to say to you, governor, before we read this proclamation, we have Many veterans here uh, for representing many organizations, and I'll just outline them, uh, I'll mention them to you. We have some here representing the American Legion. We have some who are representing the veterans of foreign wars, uh, the disabled American veterans, the Military Order of the Purple Heart, Vietnam Veterans of America, the Marine Corps League, and uh, I would be remiss if I didn't uh, recognize uh, our very own uh, Woody Williams, the uh, Medal of Honor recipient, uh, the only one we have here in the state of West Virginia, uh, who is with us today. Would Woody please stand? read this proclamation uh, uh, by the governor to all those present. Today is Veterans Visibility Day. And his, his uh, proclamation reads as follows. Whereas the Revolutionary War, which gave America its identity, is a free and democratic nation to the present, America's men and women have always risen to the call of duty in order to defend and preserve our freedom and help maintain freedom throughout the world. And whereas per capita, more citizens from West Virginia have served in our nation's armed forces than from any other state. And whereas through wars, conflicts, the threat of terror, thousands of West Virginians have defended our country. And whereas it is always important that we honor the many brave West Virginians who have faced the enemy, been wounded, or lost their lives, not only for our freedom, but for freedom around the world. Now therefore, be it resolved that I, Jim Justice, governor of the great state of West Virginia, do hereby proclaim February the 6th, 2020, as Veterans Visibility Day in the Mountain State and encourage all citizens to show their appreciation and honor the service and sacrifices of all veterans and witness therefore whereof I have hereunto set my hand and caused the great seal of the state of West Virginia to be affixed, done at the capital city of Charleston, state of West Virginia, this 28th day of January in the year of our Lord, 2020, and in the 157th year of our state. Governor, thank you very much, and uh, let's give the governor a round of appreciation. <laughs> I 
Oh, wait just one second. Time out just one second, okay? Okay. I got, you hold on to that just okay. one second, Dennis. You, right you, just, you just stand there and look good and, and everything. I'm going <laughs> to sit down right here. Because I, I want, I want, again, want to say just this. Because this is really important to me. You know, if asked, if you walk down the street right out here and you ask anybody, you say to them, how important do you think our veterans are? If you stop them, they're going to say, oh, real important. So, you know, then if you were running a poll, you'd have a 96 percentile that the veterans are really important. But the reality is just this. We don't think and appreciate you enough every day. We don't. You know, in all honesty, most people are going through life accepting or taking for granted what you've done. And that's all there is to it. And really, really, they're so, we've gotten so busy that we forget, we forget our good Lord, we forget the contribution that you've made, we forget things a lot of times that are the most important, the very most important. You know, there's an old saying and everything, you know, always treat company like family, but always treat family like company. Now, if you just think about it, you know, really and truly, a lot of times you end up taking your family for granted, and sometimes you don't treat them nearly as well as you would company. You don't. You just don't. You deserve so much, it's unbelievable. That's all there is to it. And so today is a tremendously important day for all of us to put the spotlight on how important in all that you've given and all of us just slow down a little bit in our lives to just know how valuable and how precious you are and how much you've done and all those that will be coming you in the years to come. So it really means a lot to me. It's all there is to it. You know, I can't say more than to, to tell you that I love you. I'm with you. I'll do anything under the sun to do anything and everything I possibly can to help you. I am not a politician. I don't need one kudo in the world for it. I am absolutely sincere from the bottom of my heart. And now I've got to tell you just this. Woody Williams has to be not only the superstar beyond belief, but now just think about this. How many governors' state of the state addresses ended up being taken over in the middle of the state of the state address and somebody else at the podium speaking? <laughs> and he absolutely knocked it slam out of the park. So Woody, come up here with Dennis and I and let's get a picture and let's, let's make this absolutely official right up here with you. Come on up here. Thank you, Governor. Thank you so much. No, thank you. Thank you, Governor. <laughs> thank you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. You hold right there in the middle. You hold, you hold this Do oh. I look like a runt? <laughs> no, you've got to hold it there. You look like a superstar. <laughs> thank you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. No, sir. Wonderful, wonderful. What a star. Thank you again, Governor. This concludes our program. Thank you very much for everyone.